Welcome to Sharky's Gaming Controllers. I'm Sharky and in today's video we'll be taking a look at the Hori Split Pad Pro Controller. This controller is for Nintendo Switch and this is the Damon X Machina version, the first version that Hori released. So first let's take a look at this packaging. So on the front of the box here, right at the top you've got the Damon X Machina logo. You've also got the Nintendo Switch logo. Here it says Split Pad Pro and it also has a nice image there of the controller connected to the Switch. Down the bottom, you've got the Hori logo, as well as the official Nintendo licensed product seal. On the top of the box, it just says Nintendo Switch. On the bottom is plain. On the side, you've got a close-up of the controller. And on the other side, you've got another image of the controller connected to the Switch. On the back of the box, it has a nice image there of the controller, again, connected to the Switch. And it says here, full-sized controller experience in handheld mode size for comfort and performance and then there's some close-up images of the controller full size shoulder buttons precision d-pad programmable rear triggers and on the bottom here it just has some information and logos so once you pull everything out of the box this is what you get you get the left side of the hori split pad pro the right side and the instruction manual. Now this manual is in multiple languages and tells you basically all your essential information, all the functionality of it, how to install it, and how to use the functions. So now let's take a look at this controller. The first thing to note is that this controller has to connect directly to your Switch console via the rail system. It is not a wireless controller. It also does not have motion controls or vibration. So it's basically just a full-sized controller that connects directly to your Switch console. Now let's go into the features. We'll start with the left-hand side first. So straight away you can see that nice red analog stick there. It feels really nice to use and it also clicks down. On top here you've got the minus button which is like a rubberized button. You've got a D-pad which is quite quiet. You've got a capture button, which is also rubberized. You've got two smaller rubber buttons down the bottom for a sign and turbo. And these both have LED indicators above them. On the back here, you've got your left bumper button and the ZL trigger. And these feel very nice to use. On the back of the controller, you've got your rail release button up the top here, so you can release this from your switch system. And you've also got an extra button here, the FL button. And this is the programmable button relating to the sign button on the front of the controller. Now, while it is a button, it does feel almost like a miniature trigger. It feels really nice to press. The controller also has some nice texture in the plastic here, so that when you hold this controller, you've got a little bit of grip feels really comfortable to hold. Moving on to the right side. Again, you've got that nice red colored analog stick in the center there. Feels really nice to use and also clicks down. Up top, you've got a plus sign. And this one, of course, is a rubberized button. Then you've got the home button down here, which is also rubberized as well as two smaller rubberized buttons for a sign and turbo. And once again, these have the LED indicators above them. And of course, you've got the four face buttons here, the A, B, X, and Y. These feel really nice to press. And there's a cool little Damon X Machina X logo on the X button. Looks really nice. On the back here, you've got your right bumper and ZR trigger, which feel really nice again. On the back, you've got your rail release button at the top here to release it from your switch system. And you've got another programmable button here, the FR button. And again, it feels like a miniature trigger. It feels really nice. On the side, you've got that textured grip again. And again, it feels really comfortable to hold and it gives you a little grip so you won't drop your console. Now moving on into the sign and turbo buttons. So basically the sign button will assign one of the other main buttons 
to that back extra programmer button, FL button. And on the right hand side, it'll go to the FR button. So you can essentially assign it two different extra buttons. Perhaps they're commands that you use quite often in certain games, and you can change these whenever you want. So you simply basically hold the sign button down and hold what you want. So if it's D-pad, you'd hold those two down, and then that button will be assigned to that back extra button. And now these extra buttons can be reached really easily. So when you're holding these controllers, you can just press it with your fingers like that. And they feel really nice to trigger as well. Really handy extra function. So if there is a button that you like to use quite often and you don't wanna to have to like move your hands off the analog sticks to press it, then this is the next best option. Now the turbo button works very similar. The only difference is it rapid fire it rapid fires that button. So if you say assign the turbo button to B and you press turbo, that means it's gonna keep rapid firing B. So if there's a game that you have to press a button very often, then perhaps turbo might be a good idea. And you can assign it on both sides of the controller. Now there are particular buttons you can use for both these. It's basically everything. On the left side, it's a D-pad, the click stick in, the bumper and the trigger. And on the right, it's the face buttons, the click stick in, the bumper, and the trigger. So it's basically all the main functions that you can assign to both assign and turbo buttons. And I tell you, having that extra button in the back there is very handy. And having that rapid fire just saves you having to constantly press a button over and over. And of course, once you've assigned both to these buttons here, you can also erase all that assignments. So say you set something, you forget it, you can just erase the assignments and reassign some new buttons. So it is very versatile and you can reset and assign them at any time. Now to install this controller on a Switch console is incredibly easy. All you need to do is grab the controller and align it with your Switch's rail system. Slot it in until it clips. Do the same thing on the other side like that and you can see it looks really nice it integrates incredibly well with the switch itself that's the front the top and the back now of course this is a full size controller so if you compare it to a joy con you can really see the difference in size so of course the joy cons buttons are a lot smaller in comparison to the horis same with the bumper and triggers now, of course, when you use a switch with a Joy-Con, after some time of playing, it can get a little uncomfortable. When you hold it, you start getting that kind of claw little grip there, and you start getting discomfort in your wrist and the back of your hand. And of course, the buttons themselves are also very small. But with the Hori controller, because it's a full-sized controller, when you hold it, it is incredibly natural to hold and very comfortable. You can reach everything really easily. Same with the triggers, the sticks, it's a really nice controller to use. Not only does it look good with the Switch, but it works incredibly well and is very comfortable. So you may have been wondering, can I dock the Switch with the controller connected? And the answer is yes, you can. So even with this Huawei controller connected, you can slot it into your dock just like that. Now there is a very fine gap between here. It's millimeters, so it only just fits, but you can dock it you can grab your pro controller or whatever controller you play with, play a game, and then when you want to go out again and take your Switch with you, you simply pull it out of the dock and you're ready to go. So now because these controllers are full size, there is one problem, and that is finding a case to fit this while it's connected to your Switch. Most cases are made with Joy-Cons in mind, so when these first came out, I really struggled to find a case to fit it because basically I didn't want to have to detach these every time I took it somewhere, which initially I had to. I had the switch case and then I had a different case for these, just a general purpose one. And that was really a pain because then you had to keep detaching, you know, these every time you put them away and then reattach them when you want to play again. It is a real pain. But then I looked around and someone made a case. This was one of the first companies that made a case and that is the Butterfox grip case. This case is made for this Hori controller in mind. So when you open it up, it is much wider and longer than a regular switch case. And this controller absolutely fits perfect in there. Just look at that, perfect fit. You can secure it, close the case, zip it up, and you're ready to go. It is really nice. It is so nice just to be able to open this up, 
and grab your Switch and start playing and not have to detach these controllers. So if you want a case for your Hori Split Pad Pro, then look no further than the Butterfox Grip Case. Now I will be doing a video of this case shortly, so if you want to see a more close up look at this case and its features, I will be doing a video, so check out my channel. I'll put a link down in the description if you're checking after the fact. Overall, the Hori Split Pad Pro controller is an amazing controller. It integrates well with the Switch console. It looks good. It functions well. All the buttons and sticks and triggers are all responsive. And of course, it is very comfortable being a full-sized controller. So if you play your Switch for hours on end and you're tired of using Joy-Cons because they get really uncomfortable, then this controller is definitely something to look at. I would personally highly recommend it. This is my go-to Switch controller. If I take my Switch with me, then I take this Hori Split Pad Pro with me as well. Now, of course, if you don't like this black and red design, which is a Damon X Machina version, there is other themes and colors now available. So I'm sure you'll find something that more suits you. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then uh, please hit that like button because it helps out a lot. Feel free to subscribe as I'll have heaps more gaming controls and accessories up very shortly. While you're at it, hit that notification button and share this video with your friends. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.